We're just uh, leaving Elephant Sands here. We're accompanied by Tanya, who's Mike and Saskia's daughter. <laughs> and uh, been given a wonderful breakfast with avocado before we leave. Last Incredible. Avo, Ma the last avo in Elephant Sands. Incredible hospitality. And Tanya's going to get show us a, a shortcut to the main road and then unfortunately it's going to be 30 odd k straight down the main road. And I um, forgot to mention that Tanya's on Smokey who's a ex Motswiri horse. We've also got Giza here. Miles and miles of Africa. Overcast day today, but uh, so cooler but very humid. About, got about 20 k so far in three hours. So, final lunch. Got the second leg from Kusani to Arta. Hi David, how are you going? How does it feel to be the last final stages to... Stage two. Are you walking all right, David? <laughs> Good, it looks like it. Well, this is the final lunch of the Hunter's Road leg. David's here enjoying Robin's delicious food that we've enjoyed all the way down. Just going in for seconds. We've got more to enjoy this evening. Kyle's Max, uh, his eyes light up whenever you mention food. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Well Thanks very much. And the dogs, yeah. Oh, the dog, he's, he, he's downwind. He, he looks like he's going to enjoy that too. <laughs> the first time we've seen cattle all trip. And I think it's the first time the cattle have seen a horse. Well, you'd think we'd be heading for Zimbabwe, but no, we're heading to Nata for the end of the Hunter's Road leg. Oh, some lucky people. Well, it's the final morning to ride into Nata. We're here on the banks of the Nata River. David? Just finishing night shift, sitting in the car, <laughs> out of the rain. Hmm. Amazing place. Can't say the same about the weather. <laughs> morning, David. What you doing in the car there? It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> How's it, Jono? <laughs> James is in the rain. Camping in the rain is no fun, is it? No, it's getting 
it's pretty miserable. Right. Well, we're supposed to have left 15 minutes ago, but we're having coffee in the car. Yeah, so we got a great sighting here this morning, everyone. Um, I don't know if you could hear that, but that was the call of the Warburg's Eagle. So it's the 30th of August today, and it's the first recording that I've made this year of the Warburg's Eagle recording. Uh, well, coming back from its uh, migration, which is an intra-African migrant. So it's probably come from somewhere north of the equator in Africa. And uh, it usually comes back to a spot that it, it nests and breeds during the summer months down here in Southern Africa. So yeah, welcome back, Mr. Warburg's Eagle. We've ridden and supported four horses all the way from Mound, up to the Chobe River and back down the Hunters Road, 750 kilometers. We left on August the 3rd, it's now August the 30th. And we land here in this amazing Nata River. This is Madala Pools. It's the first time we've seen a river since Chobe and any sort of water source. Back in our fleeces after the rain. About 12 to 16 kilometers to go over this second leg. 34 years of living in Botswana, I've never had rain in August. Off you go, chaps. The last leg of the Hunter's Road. Good luck, guys. See you there. Can you um, get there, James? Can you just um, obviously choose a nice place for the picket line? Rest of, sort out. of course I will, David. Bye, Nyasa. Isn't this amazing? Down the Nata River, under the Anna trees, with some nutty weather. Crazy rain last night in August. cave systems on the Nata River. Last little pool on water. The Nata delivers. Doesn't feel like we're in Botswana, does it? Water all along here. Hey, John. Oh, what do you think? Into Thorn. The Albert is the palm. Mind you of uh, early days in the minor pools and in the Loangla. So we're about to turn away from the Nata River. I mean, I think this is about our 27th day on the road. It's been a wonderful start to the day walking down the riverbed. It's amazing. Um, you know, this Nata River comes out of Zimbabwe. We think maybe it rises in somewhere called it somewhere called the Pelandaba Hills, but the Zimbabweans can tell us that. And, uh, and then it flows through here and it goes into the Makadi Kadi salt pans in the at the Nata Bird Sanctuary. And I've only I've seen the river where it enters the bird sanctuary and uh, or enters the Makadi Kadi pans and we've seen it in full flood in the town of Nata where it's almost over the bridge. So you can just imagine the water pumping down here during the rainy season and of course it's the most important water source for all the flamingos of southern africa that breed in the sewer pan part of the makadi kadi and uh, i think it was last july i was down at the mouth of the river and uh, there were hundreds of thousands of flamingos feeding there so really really <laughs> important river. Now we head off into the Mapani, bush bashing, <laughs> bundu bashing. Beautiful red leaves. Like the Japanese cherry blossoms. This is what the inside of a baobab tree looks like. Hello. 
lots of water could be held there. See the, how thin the edge is. There's another edge. There we are, not a lodge, hey? End of the Hunter's Road. Leg two. 800 kilometers later. 800 kilometers, well done girls. Hey, hey. Let's go see what lies behind the palm tree. Hot coffee on this freezing day, freezing Sunday in August where it rained. How extraordinary. I concur. I think David's got everything he needs here. This is his little camp and uh, I'm leaving my uh, tent as well as a kitchen tent which will be handy in the pans. Just everything, fridge and uh, charging box all set up in there nicely. Yeah, I think David's going to be comfortable here. We're going to leave our table. I think everything's set. I just said to Kyle, you may as well continue with the... Uh, Equipment, you know how to operate. So um, it's been an extraordinary, extraordinary adventure. And uh, the vision of David's expedition that he put together has been um, a privilege to be a part of. So I wish him all the best of luck um, on the ongoing journey around the south of the pans. And I'll probably catch up with him for a weekend and the team um, down the Pateti somewhere. And I really didn't know I was uh, signing up to a weight loss program. <laughs> Good luck, David and team. Uh, this is my little camp in the uh, campsite at Nata Lodge. Uh, they're kindly uh, allowing us to hang out. Big, big uh, property with lots of grass for the horses. And. Uh, just waiting for the geldings to arrive and these girls will be going home tomorrow after this incredible effort they've made. So yesterday we rode in here with uh, our three mares, Charm and Firefish and uh, Nyasa and here today comes the relief crew, the four geldings, Dukfree, Nova, Griffin and Ghostwind preparing the bush offloading ramp. There the geldings have arrived. And there's Charm meeting our old friend Nova. They both came from the same place in the Underberg. And free, our internet superstar. About to load them. Uh, very sad to see them go. They've done an incredible job. I think they're still looking pretty good, lean and fit. This uh, leg south from Kasani to Nata, down the Hunter's Road and uh, along the international boundary with Zimbabwe, has been um, really tough, much tougher than going north. And this is despite the incredible help and support we've had from the Panda Matenga community and from uh, Elephant Sands. It's just uh, the ground's been tough. It's black cotton soil and then terrible basalt rock, um, which really hammered the horses as they're not shod. So it's all a bit of limped our way down, really, um, metaphorically. And uh, yeah, we are regrouping and just getting ourselves organized for the Makadi Kadi. Every animal that gets moved within Botswana has to have a veterinary permit to move it through the vet fences. So we're just looking for the veterinary office here in Nata. Feels pretty strange being back in a vehicle. Go. I feel very sad. See those girls? What stars? Now we are welcoming the girls. Are from Nata, Mayasa, Charm and fire fish and then four boys they went to join that trip is nayasa 